Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my first vlog as the road to the open class. So I want to give a little bit of an update. Um, right now I woke up today at 263 pounds. So I've gained about 10 pounds since I started this process of moving up a weight class. I believe the next 10 pounds are going to be much more difficult, but I'm definitely on the right direction. Um, but so far at this point, um, five weeks after kind of my injury, I got cleared to kind of start doing some lifting again um, and started with some log. Log is always kind of the first thing I got to go to. Nothing too um, concrete, nothing too nothing too hard, but it actually feels pretty good in terms of like a full body movement. Um, squat sucks right now. My squats are not there. I'm going to try deadlifts today, um, but I think for squatting, being in kind of an interior pelvic tilt position really kind of hurts the SI joint. So I'm going to try to avoid squats, I think, especially in heels um, at the moment. But at the seven week mark, um, kind of post injury, um, I decided to hop into uh, the Top Strengths Project Super Total Contest. Um, so Steve asked if I could do a, a couple log sessions. So for any super, for anybody that's interested in what a super total is, so of course it's a powerlifting total, squat, bench, deadlift, and also a clean jerk and snatch. Um, but he did a strongman version for the super total too. So you have the option to do also do a log viper and a log clean and press instead of the snatch and clean and jerk traditionally. So I just decided to do the log portion um, and this is how it went. So thanks again for Steve Tripp for hosting it. I brought Maya, the world's strongest wiener, and she was there all day watching all the all the big lifts. There's Mr. Nico and his fun lifting with the whole crew from Top Strength. You have Brent and also Joe there. And also Shane Hunt from Texas came down. And Shane Hunt is a number four in the in the country when it comes to, um, or in the world when it comes to the best total at 275. So he's a great power lifter. But this was my first lift at 290. So, first, so starting off with the Vipers, second lift being 310 pounds. So I wanted to stay pretty conservative, but I wanted to kind of push it. Um, Vipers are always fun. I haven't done a, a good Viper in a while, probably since the summer. Um, best Viper being 340, so maybe getting a little close there with this next lift of 330 pounds. Um, but here, I need to kind of lap it and really kind of what I teach in my seminars to really get in, use that stretch reflex to get all the way down there, to pin that to your chest and really be able to kind of stand up. And that is what I like to call a textbook uh, viper in that situation. So the clean and jerk portion, um, everybody else around me was stick, strict pressing the first couple, so I thought I'd do the same. So here's 310 for a strict press, so felt pretty good there. So I thought I'd at least do 330, doing 20 pound jumps, doing 330 in terms of my next kind of strict press in this situation. A little bit of a struggle here. Um, not as smooth as I was like, but this is also 10 pounds off my best strict press, which is 340 uh, with log cleaning press. So I thought I would just kind of keep it there when it comes to kind of strict pressing, but being 10 pounds off from my best when not really practicing strict presses on the log, um, again, is a huge um, accomplishment in that sense. And then 350 was gonna be my last take, 350 being pretty conservative, 62 pounds under my best clean and jerk. But since it's my last lift and I'm there to exhibition, you gotta put on a show. So thought I'd be do a couple push presses and then kind of finish with the split jerk. My split jerk wasn't really textbook. I kind of my back foot wasn't was kind of lacking. I didn't really drop under it as much as I would like. But you know, it was, it was fun for the fans. Everybody was cheering, so it was a good time. But in that expedition, I, I vipered, I strict press, I push press, I split jerk. Um, so pretty much showcasing the whole skill set in that contest. Um, and then to finish off the contest, um, so of course I stayed for the the squat, the bench, and then on the deadlift, this is Nico and also Steve. And they pulled both 845 to finish off the contest, which was huge pull. It was great to see that in person. Um, of course, I was just right there video recording, so it was cool just to hang out with them, kind of compete with my buddies, and we had really had a great time all day. So um, I really appreciate the opportunity from Steve to kind of come down and to, of course, kind of show my log and, again, to work out with the whole gang. And that's the weekend. Um, since I'm feeling better now, I'm going to start lifting a little more consistently, maybe a few times a week, um, starting, of course, today. 
um, and especially leading to kind of Christmas. Um, yeah, staying pretty conservative and the start of the new year is when I'm really gonna ramp up for the Arnold Amateur. Um, but my, my next event is gonna be Saturday this, this weekend, the Saturday the 17th. Uh, we are doing a Toys for Tots to raise money and toys for the children. Um, so it's going to be at TPS starting at 12 p.m. So I hope to see you all there, especially if you're local to the Boston area. Um, my seminars, I'm going to make an announcement in terms of upcoming seminars soon. Uh, so be on the lookout for 2023. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell so you know when all the videos are coming out. And until next time, stay strong. <laughs>